pedo case study. What do you guys think? The answer is D, universal curette. So ultrasonic scalar is not advisable for a pedo client because in their um, in the primary teeth, they have large pulp chambers. So if you use an ultrasonic, it's going to cause more sensitivity. Also, she has asthma, right? So the extra aerosols that you'll see with an ultrasonic may not be advisable for a client with asthma. B is also not the answer because sickles, say it's anterior sickle scalar, sickles are only used for supragingival debridement. And this question is asking for subgingival. C, area-specific curette could be an answer, but area-specific curettes are mostly used for root surfaces um, in perio pockets. And so she doesn't have a perio pocket, so we don't want to use area-specific. Also, with area-specific, you're using multiple instruments, like you'll use Gracie 1112 for the mesials, Gracie um, 1314 for the distal. So you're switching a lot. Not ideal for a pedo anxious client. D would be the best answer, universal curette, because it's just one instrument you're using all over the mouth. It has a rounded toe, so you can use it subgingively, which is what the question is asking for. And you're not switching instruments back and forth. You're using that same instrument for the entire dentition. Stay tuned for the next one.